Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. Today I'm going to talk about the iOS 4.2 for Apple devices like iPad, iPhone, uh, iPod Touch. And in this one I want to talk a little bit about Air applications. And a couple things that they've added was Air Print and Air Play. Now for Air Print, typically what you do it means you can print from your iPad with no wires. No computer needed, you just connect and, and you, you print. Um, there's only certain printers, unfortunately, that are actually set up to take advantage of this, and they're all by HP, and I think right now the current number is only 11 printers. But typically you go to, like, say, a website and say, I want to print this out. You come up here under the little box with the arrow on it, which is a way for you to say, tap print, and then you choose the printer, you select a printer. If you have one within your range, then you can be able to print to it. You don't have to have a computer up in order for this to work, but this would be a way for you to print. Very limited selection. There's other programs out there you might want to buy that allow you to make use of your standard USB printers that you might have on your computer to be able to print from the iPad. But those would require for your computer to be up in order for you to be able to print. Up means booted up and awake. Can't be in sleep mode. So this might be a better way for you to go. The other thing is AirPlay. AirPlay is a way for you to take anything, photos that you've got on your device, um, whether it's on your iPhone or iPad, you can take the pictures and you can send them off to your Apple TV. That's a great way to kind of share things with those other devices. Um, I'm not sure I see a whole lot of views for AirPlay because often I don't keep a lot of content on here. I put it directly onto my computer and then my computer can connect to things like my Apple TV in order to view them on a big screen. Um, because the, you only get 16 gigabytes here, my computer has hundreds of gigabytes as a powerful tool. But anyway, there are a couple of features there that you might be interested in that you didn't have before. I think there's a lot of hope for air print as more printers become more wireless and if Apple can enable other printers to be able to work with this, that will solve a lot of problems for people who do need to still print things out in paper. Yeah, I'm old school. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this helpful.